Red Raven, deceased. Real name, unknown. Identity, secret. Legal status, born as an American citizen, became a citizen of the realm of the bird people, operated in the United States with the special permission of the United States government. Other aliases, none. Place of birth, unknown. Place of death, the city of the bird people at an unknown location in the Atlantic Ocean. Marital status, single. Known survivors, none. Group affiliation, Liberty Legion. First modern appearance, X-Men number 44. Final appearance, Submariner number 26. History. The small child who was to become the Red Raven was riding with his parents aboard one of the first airplanes to cross the Atlantic Ocean when the plane entered a dense fog bank and struck the Island of the Bird People, which was concealed within. The Bird People were originally in humans who had seceded from their race's city of Atalan. See, in human. The bird people instead lived in a city built atop an island which, due to powerful anti-gravity drives, floated high above the Earth's surface. Whereas most inhumans have different powers than the others, all of the bird people resembled ordinary humans except for their large feathered wings which made them capable of flight. The child who was to become the Red Raven was the only human to survive the plane crash, and the bird people, who are also known as the Winged Ones, decided to raise him as one of their own. The bird people named the child Red Raven because of his flaming red hair, and as he grew older, gave him a costume that would enable him to fly. The costume contained miniature anti-gravity mechanisms and included large artificial wings which would help him steer himself and negotiate air currents while in flight. On becoming an adult, the Red Raven decided to explore the world of the human race. He became a crime fighter among his fellow humans and, during World War II, was a member of the Liberty Legion, an organization of costumed adventurers. See, Liberty Legion. But what the Red Raven saw of humanity's inhumanity towards others during the war years eventually embittered him towards the human race, and he returned to the island of the Bird People. There, he discovered that the Bird People, who believed the ordinary humans to be their inferiors, intended to conquer the human race while it was still wearied from the tumult of World War II. The Red Raven argued in vain with the ruler of the bird people that the humans still vastly outnumbered them and would wipe the winged race out if they went to war. To save the bird people, the Red Raven therefore released a gas which placed all of them in suspended animation. He then put the bird people in special individual capsules designed to keep them alive and sank the island beneath the Atlantic Ocean. He put himself into suspended animation in a capsule, too, after setting a device that would return the island to the ocean's surface years later and awaken him. The island rose again on schedule and was discovered by the mutant Angel. After fighting the Angel, the awakened Red Raven again sank the island and returned to suspended animation. But some months later, an undersea earthquake tore his own capsule loose. It floated to the ocean's surface, and the Red Raven again regained consciousness, but was unable to move. He was revived by his old ally, the Submariner. However, the suspended animation methods the Red Raven had used had adversely affected his sanity. The Red Raven now intended to revive the rest of the bird people, destroy humanity, and take over the Earth. But when the Red Raven tried to awaken the bird people, he discovered that the suspended animation capsules had malfunctioned and that the entire race had died. Totally insane now from anguish, the Red Raven lashed out at a main control panel with his metal wings without realizing what he was doing. A fire erupted, and the island of the bird people was obliterated by a tremendous explosion. The Red Raven was on the island when it was destroyed.
Height six feet. Weight one hundred and eighty pounds. Eyes black. Hair red. Powers. The Red Raven had no natural superhuman powers. Paraphernalia. The Red Raven wore a costume which enabled him to rise through the air by emitting anti-gravitons. Gravitons are the subatomic particles which carry gravitational force. Anti-gravitons are oppositely charged subatomic particles which repel gravitons. The anti-gravity mechanisms were cybernetically attuned to the Red Raven's mind, so that he could activate and control them by mental command. The costume also had enormous artificial wings, which allowed the Red Raven to steer his flight and to give himself greater propulsion through the air. His original metal wings resembled those of a bird. Later, he wore metal wings which resembled a bat's. The Red Raven could fly at speeds ranging up to one hundred and forty miles per hour. The metal of which the Red Raven's wings were made was strong enough to deflect bullets and considerable concussive force, and the Raven often used his wings to shield himself from harm. The Raven could swing each of his wings with enough force to knock down the submariner. The Red Raven's wings also contained mechanisms which could fire energy beams of an unknown nature that had considerable concussive force.